Hello mga kawamats! In this video lesson, we will discuss about the properties of parallelogram. So alam natin na yung parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So underneath parallelogram, si rhombus, rectangle, and square. So ano ba yung mga properties niya? First, the opposite sides are parallel. So halimbawa meron tayong quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So, masasabi natin na si AD, so yung side AD ay parallel kay side BC. And then yung side AB natin ay parallel din kay side DC. Yan yung unang property ng para parallelogram natin. Pangalawa, opposite sides are congruent. So, ibig sabihin kapag congruent, yung sukat non equal. So, let's say meron tayong quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So, yung side A, B or yung side A, D natin ay congruent kay side B, C. Ibig sabihin kung anong sukat ng side na ito, ganun din yung sukat nito. And then, yung side A, B natin congruent sa side D, C. So, magkaharapan. No? They are equal. So, kung anong sukat ng side A, B, Ganun din yung side, ang sukat ni side DC. Again, the opposite sides are congruent. Next, the opposite angles are congruent. So, sabi sa uh, pangatlong properties ng paralelogram natin, the opposite angles are congruent. So, for example, quadrilateral ABCD. So, si angle A ay congruent kay angle C. So, ibig sabihin plus, kung anong sukat ni angle A, ganun din yung sukat ni angle C. They are equal. Tapos, si angle B naman, congruent kay angle D. So, same sila ng sukat. So, kung anong measure ni angle B, ganun din yung measure ni angle D. Next, the consecutive angles are supplementary. So, pag sinabi natin consecutive angles, magkatabing angle. And then, pag sinabi natin supplementary, the measure of it is 180. So, halimbawa, uh, meron tayong A and B. So, they have angle A and angle B. So, yan ay consecutive angles. Si angle B saka si angle C, consecutive angles din yan. Si angle C sa kasi angle D, consecutive angles din. Si angle D sa kasi angle A, consecutive angles din. So, sabi daw, ang consecutive angles are supplementary. So, kapag in natin, si angle A sa kasi angle B, so, yung measure nila is equal to 180. Ganon din si angle B plus angle C, that is 180 din. Si angle C sa kasi angle D, pag in natin, ang, so, ang measure niyan is 180. So, si angle D plus angle A, so yung sum niyan, kapag in natin yung angles nila, ay 180 din. So, tandaan natin, the consecutive angles are supplementary. Next, the diagonal bisect each other. So, let's say we have a quadrilateral A, B, D, C. Okay, we have a quadrilateral A, B, D, C. So, the diagonal AD, so tingnan maigi, the diagonal AD bisects BC. Okay, so again, yung diagonal AD natin bisects BC. So, therefore, we can say that yung itong side na to, side PE, ay no, not side, no, yung BE natin ay congruent kay CE. Okay, so again, yung BE natin congruent kay CE. So, there, ibig sabihin ng class, equal sila. Same sila ng sukat. So, if diagonal BC by sex ay add yung diagonal AD natin, so, masabi din natin na yung, yung AE natin ay congruent kay DE. So, kung ano yung sukat nito, same sa sukat nito. Okay. That another property, each diagonal bisects the parallelogram into into two congruent triangles. So once na na yung parallelogram natin, no, meron tayong diagonal. 
So, ibig sabihin, hinati niyang paralelogram natin into two congruent triangles. So, kagaya ng nakikita nyo. No, yung triangle na to, so yung triangle ABC, okay, ay congruent sa triangle DCB. Okay? So, makikita natin, no, kapag ito, may diagonal tie class, itong angle na to, equal sa angle na to. Okay? Tapos itong angle na to nandito ay equal dito. So, tandaan natin yung mga properties ng paralelogram. Okay, bigyan ko kayo ng examples. Solve for x. Okay, anong property para ma-solve natin ito? Opposite angles are congruent. Tama po. Opposite angles are congruent. So, ibig sabihin yung angle V sa kasi angle T ay equal. Okay, so opposite angles are congruent. So, therefore, 12x plus 4 is equal to 13x minus 6. Okay, so then combine similar terms. So, para hindi na tayo mag-negative yung x natin, so, ang ilipat na lang natin dito sa right side si 12x, tapos si negative 6 doon sa kabila. No? Kasi kung si 13x, nilipat mo doon, mag-negative x, naging negative pa yung x mo. No? So, yung 12x na lang lipat mo dito. So, that is 4 plus 6 is equal to 13x minus 12x. 13x minus 12x, that is x. And 4 plus 6 is That is 10. So, the value of x is 10. Next. Uh, opposite sides. Anong property ang pwede natin apply dito? Opposite sides are congruent. So, side u, TW is congruent to side UV. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, equal yung sukat nila. So, 19x is equal to 19. So, to solve for x, divide both uh, equation by 19. So, 19 divide 19, the answer is 1. So, yung value ng x is 1. Next. Okay. Solve for x. Okay. So, another. We have, okay, solve for x. So, apply natin opposite angles of parallelogram are congruent. So, therefore, so yung side na to ay equal sa side na to. So, we can say that Vs is congruent to Ut. So, 3x minus 1 is equal to 14. So, lipat natin si negative 1 kay 14. So, maging 3x is equal to 14 plus 1. And 14 plus 1, that is 15. Solve for x. So, divide both equation by 3. So, 15 divide 3, x is equal to 5. Next. Okay, consecutive angles are supplementary, di ba? Sabi dito, the consecutive angles of parallelogram are supplementary. So, kapag inadaw natin itong dalawang angle nito, ang equal sila kay 180. So, that is angle X plus the measure of angle W is equal to 180. Then, substitute. 7x plus 8 plus 20x plus 10 is equal to 180. So, tandaan natin na kapag consecutive angles, so, ang sukat nun ay supplementary. So, after that, combine similar terms. So, 7x plus 20x, that is 27x. 8 plus 10, that is 18, is equal to 180. So, lipat natin si 18 sa right side. So, 27x is equal to 180 minus 18. The answer is 162. So, to solve for x, divide both equation by 27. And x is equal to 6. Next, we have, find the measure of angle LKM. Okay, so, anong property ang pwede natin i-apply dito? Yes, the diagonal bisect each other. So, pag ganun, makakabuo tayo. So, ibig sabihin, itong... Pwede rin natin apply yung isa, no? The uh, diagonal bisect the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So, itong triangles na to, equal sa triangles na to. So, yung nandito, yung angle na to, ay equal siya dito. Okay? So, alam natin na ang triangle ay, kapag kinuha natin yung sum ng angle ng triangle natin ay 180. 
So, since yung angle L natin is 114 degree, yung angle K natin is 8x minus 1. So, si angle M, since itong angle na to ay congruent dito, so therefore, si angle M dito ay 9x minus 1. So, pag kinuha natin yung measure ng triangle MLK, that is 180. So, kapag kinuha natin, angle L plus angle K plus angle M. So, kunin natin. Substitute lang natin, no? Isa substitute lang natin, that is equal to 180. So, 114. So, si angle L natin, since, uh, okay. So, since si angle M natin, Sabi ko nga kanina na itong angle na to ay equal dito. So, therefore, si angle M natin ay 9x minus 1. Okay? Plus, yung angle L natin, that is 114. Plus, the measure of angle K, that is 8x minus 1, is equal to 180. So, ang gawin natin, class, uh, uh, combine natin lahat ng similar terms. So, 9x plus 8x, that is 17x. Negative 1 plus 114 minus 1, that is 112. Positive 112. Then, lipat natin si 112 sa right side. So, 17x is equal to 180 minus 112. And the answer is 68. So, to solve the value of x, so divide natin both equation by 17. Tapos, yung x natin is 4. Since yung kinukuha natin, ang hinahanap is measure nung Angle LKM, so saan yan? Yung angle LKM, so ito. So yung angle K natin, yung 8x minus 1. So ano ang measure niyan? So ang gagawin lang natin, substitute natin yung value ng x. Okay? So that is 8 times 4, 32 minus 1. The answer is 31. So ang sukat ni... Uh, nung angle LKM natin is 31 degree. Next, meron tayong, okay, ito, we can apply, no, nung uh, pang number 5 property natin, the diagonal bisect each other, na kapag ibig sabihin, itong sukat na to ay equal sa sukat dito. Tapos yung sukat nito ay equal din sa sukat nito. So, sabi sa given, yung GZ, ay 2x minus 3. Tapos yung GE natin, that is 3x plus 5. Kunin natin yung value nito. So, ibig sabihin class, ang 3x plus 5, yun yung buong sukat from dito sa G hanggang kay E. So, kung uh, ang diagonals natin nagbisect each other, so, ibig sabihin ito, saka ito equal. So, kapag in natin tong dalawa na to, Ito yung magiging sagot. Okay? So, again, so, GZ is congruent to EZ. So, that is GZ plus EZ is equal to GE. Again, uh, yung GZ natin plus EZ is equal to GE. Kasi, class, sabi dito, uh, itong sukat na ito sa kasukat na to ay equal. So, kapag in natin, since binigay, May binigay sa given na yung GE natin, that is 3x plus 5. So, kukunin natin yung value nito. So, therefore, 2x minus 3 plus 2x minus 3. Okay, same sila kasi nga they are equal, is equal to 3x plus 5. Then, combine similar terms. So, 4x, so negative 3 minus 3, that is negative 6, is equal to 3x plus 5. Lipat natin si 3x sa left side. So, 4x minus 3x. And then, 5. Lipat si negative 6. That is plus 6. So, therefore, 4x minus 3x. That is x. 5 plus 6. That is 11. So, yung value ng x natin is 11. So, makukuha na natin yung value ng gz. So, substitute lang natin yung value ng x. That is 2 times 11 minus 3. And 2 times 11. That is 22. Minus 3, the answer is 19. So, ibig sabihin, ang sukat nito ay 19. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button 
para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.